Hey up folks. Yes, I'm upstairs in the recording studio. We're having to get an entirely new heating system fitted into the house because we've got an old Baxi Bermuda back boiler. But this partition wall was put up many, many years ago by the previous owner. And actually all of the plumbing for the house and the hot water tank and the cold water tank is behind that partition wall. I've never looked behind that partition wall. We might find some interesting stuff behind there. Let's make some holes in and see what surprises or little treasures might be behind that wall. First of all, look at the lighting. Who would ever produce lighting like that direct in your face lighting anyway let's get a hole made in there and let's have a look and see what's behind that partition wall <laughs> right let's get in there here we go here's one of my uh power tool lights that i design and make oh wow check out this place <laughs> There's loads of extra space behind here. What have we got in here then? Let's uh, let's make a decent sized hole so that we can physically get inside. We now have an entrance into our little cubby hole. This was the TV. It's, uh, it's pretty messy. It's a bush. No, it's a TV. It's not a bush. Yeah, all right. It's, uh, let's venture in. What have we got? We have got the Jolly Playbook. We found a light and a cold water tank or a hot water tank. There's a couple more tanks up here. Uh, a really old tank. Look at that. That's got to be the old cold water storage tank. A box for a guitar amplifier. Ooh, I wonder how far. Oh, look at that. We can see all the way down the other end of the house. Excellent. A toilet seat. Wife's always wanted a new toilet seat. We'll dust that one off and shove it on the bog. <laughs> Flux. Importantly, let's see if there's anything in the Glen Eagles. Just junk, unfortunately, empty, empty boxes and a reel of electrical cable. Yeah, the previous guy, I don't know if he was an electrician. I would say he probably wasn't because if you look, <laughs> if you look at the wiring, oh my goodness. And the other thing that sort of interested me about this house is the tiles themselves. There's no felt put down or anything along those lines. I, I don't know if that's normal. We could definitely do with putting some insulation in here at some point. And in fact, if you look up there, you can see daylight. There's a hundred year old house, by the way, this place here. Uh, so let's, uh, let's keep trucking around the next corner. Let's see what we got round here. Oh, let's have a butcher's. There we go all the way down there. Steve-O has found a cassette tape and a fork. Rod Stewart's greatest hits. <laughs> look at that fork. Brilliant. And look at this in here now. Absolute transformation. There we go. Totally different. A lot of the junk removed. All of the water tanks are coming out. And Steve's fitting a combi boiler. A little bit of water in it. Look at that. Tank out. Oh, you probably wanted me to take that off you then, didn't you? What oh. we're going to do is keep him that way up. Okay, so otherwise the it uh... can't spill because that'll okay. probably be mucky. In so here's the old Baxi Bermuda back boiler and its associated heat exchanger. Wow. Really old bit of fireplace. And uh, radiators coming out in the kitchen. No radiator. <laughs> And also, in the lounge, no radiator. And also, in the lounge, no back boiler. That is going to be a fantastic log burner at some point in the future. Oh, 
Google for it. Lovely jumbly, look at that. Well, what an absolute transformation. Steve and the team are doing a magnificent job of getting this new combi boiler in, a Worcester Bosch. And uh, we've got we've got radiators upstairs now, all nicely plumbed in. We've got radiators in every room. Every floorboard has been <laughs> ripped up and pipes have been installed underneath every floorboard. But it's uh, it's a work of art. Look at it. So we've still yet to core drill the flue pipe outlet and inlet. And there's one more radiator to fit in the bathroom. It'll be interesting to see the core drilling process to get that flue pipe fitted. Footage of some core drilling action, oh, man. <laughs> Meter being removed, gas pipe being put up the outside of the house, ladders, I don't do ladders, you know that, and um, so thankfully there's people here doing it, <laughs> and then core drilling going on upstairs, one for the gas pipe and one for the flue pipe for the new condensing boiler. <laughs> Fair play, soldering a pipe up the top of a ladder. How many plumbers can you fit in a bathroom? <laughs> sorry heating engineers and there we have it some nice new radiators in place uh, some of the things I would suggest that uh, you do is go ahead and fix the walls behind the old radiators before the new radiators go in all the carpets are back in place all the floorboards have been put back in place in fact even some of the floorboards don't squeak anymore because they've been properly screwed down a big big thank you to the plumbing team that came in to do the job we've got quite a lot of work to do up in this little neck of the woods now like adding a little bit of insulation here and perhaps boarding some of this off and also expanding the great big hole that we've got upstairs. There's quite a lot of work to be done. It took the plumbing team about three days and it was three men working pretty much flat out. And when I say flat out, they were hard working guys. A big thank you very much indeed to you guys for all of the hard work and we're really looking forward to winter this year. Cheers and beers people. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you give us a good thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.